more vehicles and motorcycles for the Royal Solomon Islands Police Force. Two handovers in a week. Today being from the People's Republic of China. 20 million some dollar, or two to value. 20 million dollars worth of support, what we see now, to boost the capability of the local police force. All these are in response to the social issues often seen and felt in Honiara. The recent November riots is still fresh in our minds. And we still feel the economic impact of this riot. Actually, we will continue to feel its impact. Police Commissioner Mostin Mangao told local journalists the current fleet donated by China and Australia replaces the current fleet grounded and ready for tender. We are concerned about 20% of the parts as well too for supporting the new maintaining now fleet and also to look at engaging with them with local businessmen in Lohia to link with them now suppliers for another side too for parts for coming home maintaining now fleet. The Chinese government is happy to assist Solomon Islands police force in its work in law and order and said they are in no way in competition with Australia. The Australia provided the vehicles uh, we have learned yesterday. So we didn't know they will provide vehicles on Wednesday. So we we planning this for a long time. Two, two uh, weeks ago we have discussing the um, handover ceremony with the ISPF at that time. We don't know that Australia will provide the vehicles at the same week. So this, this is just a cool uh, ha happiness. Uh, yeah. So you are not competing? Yeah, we, we, we don't have any intention to compete with other partners. We, our cooperation with ISRPF are parallel to other partners. We hope all the partners provide uh, support to ISRPF so they can improve uh, and uh, meet the gaps. Prime Minister Manasseh Sankovare made a strong message in his statement today for the doubting Thomases. To those who view the enhancement of the police force in a negative lens, I wish to appeal to you to note that it is the responsibility of the Royal Solomon Islands Police Force to serve and protect the lives, welfare, liberty, property of all individuals in this country and you can argue that and you will not convince me. The support received by RSIPF from both China and Australia was the highlight in this week's geopolitics contest, despite both countries denying that a battle exists between them in Solomon Islands. Meanwhile, Solomon Islands stands ready to benefit from all this support never seen before in its history. For Tavoli News, I'm Gina Kekea.